After a challenging week for the University of Minnesota, there's reason to celebrate. The university president and other top officials held a ceremonial groundbreaking for the new Athletes Village. Noticeably absent from the party was now former U of M football coach Jerry Kill, who announced earlier this week that he's retiring because of health concerns over his battle with epilepsy. Others told Arnie and Moni while Kiz, Kill is not there anymore, his legacy played perhaps the biggest part in this dream come true for the university. The beginning of a new era in Gopher sports. Three new structures with practice facilities to help 725 student athletes with academics, leadership, and nutrition. Um, I'm most looking forward to the um, to more space to interact with and collaborate with the other student athletes here at the U. Many people worked for years to raise 76 million dollars from public and private donors, enough to break ground. But they all felt the emptiness from Coach Kill's departure. But let me just take one second and acknowledge Coach Kill's efforts in getting this project to the point where it is. Oh, I was confident this day was going to come. The university's president says the new facilities give Minnesota a chance to level the playing field with other Big Ten schools, a cause for which Coach Jerry Kill worked tirelessly. Uh, people are very fond of Coach. I think he might be the most popular guy in Minnesota, so when he talked about the need for facilities, uh, people listened. While the beloved coach may not be working on the field anymore, interim athletics director Beth Getz is confident he'll still be active in fundraising. Um, they're going to continue to be a part of our spirit um, and a part of that legacy that's going to help us move forward. Keeping the momentum going as the school works to raise $85 million more dollars to complete the project. Again, many people credit Coach Kill for helping the football team play better and U of M sports to become a lot more popular. New football and basketball centers are now going to be added. It's been 30 years since a new practice facility has been added. And in that time, the number of student athletes has doubled, Amelia. And Nina, the U needs more money. So is the plan to open these facilities at once or as the money comes in? They do want to open all of these at one time. So getting that extra dollars, those $85 million is critical. There's no projected opening date yet for these facilities. They're hoping to have a better idea, though, in the next month or so. All right. Thank you, Nina.